when I was out last in Arizona, it was spring break and it was more hiking and some running, but more like appreciation of nature. <laughs> Olympian Jesse Diggins downloading with us about being ready for Beijing and admits life after striking gold in the team sprint event at the 2018 Winter Olympics isn't a whole lot different. I went out this morning with my team here in Stratton, Vermont, and it's really hard intervals, got really sweaty, it was very painful, and I'm headed to the gym this afternoon. So in some ways, it hasn't changed a single bit. Um, still training just as hard, got my nose pressed just as close to the grindstone, um, but I love that. That training paying off. Last year, she won the Tour de Ski, which is six races in three countries, a first ever for an American. Her grandma watching it all from Casa Grande. She's busy training. She, she works hard every day, not just for her sport, but she works hard to be a good person and a good teammate. The pandemic canceling Grandma Betty's plans to go to Beijing to watch Jesse compete. I'm so excited. I wish we could have gone. You know, we were planning on it, but, you know, things happen, of course. But, you know, Jesse, her hard work and perseverance has made her a shining star. And Jesse is making things even more shiny. So I've been doing glitter for a while, um, and I'm kind of like the teen sparkle fairy. But for me, it's actually a little bit of this reminder and promise to myself that this is supposed to be fun. It's sports, right? So when I put the glitter on, it's, you know, you can't not smile when you're putting something sparkly on your face. The sparkles go on Team USA's faces and the fun kicks off in Beijing just three months before Jessie ties the knot with her longtime boyfriend, Wade, a financial analyst who almost became a pro hockey player. We decided to have the wedding in the spring after the Olympics so that I can go full focus on one thing in full party mode <laughs> and, um, when it comes time to our wedding. Everybody's excited. You know, it, when, this, a lot of them are not following cross-country skiing out here, but when I tell them about, oh, I'm going to root for her, you know, and, which is great. I mean, you always want to have those people rooting for you. Rachel Cole, 12 News.